Hi guys, this video will demonstrate the ability of Shelter to generate and bind junk polymorphic code with the actual payload. So, let's select again our uh, the host executable where the cell code is going to be injected. Let's trace a few instructions. I'm not going to use the rest of the features. And then we can press uh, Ctrl plus C just to stop tracing. Then uh, we're going to select the payload. We're not going to use an encoded payload yet. And then we're going to prepend polymorphic code. And uh, this time we're going to use uh, uh, the internal polymorphic engine um, of Shelter in order to generate uh, the junk code that we are going to bind with, uh, with, the, with our cell code. We have also a help option here. So let's just pick the engine. And let's say generate 500 bytes. Now, the time that it takes to generate the code, of course, uh, it depends a lot um, of the power of uh, the CPU. Um, the time also depends on uh, small randomized intervals um, for which um, the, gener the thread that, that generates the, the polymorphic code uh, sleeps for uh, random uh, millisecond uh, intervals in order to uh, optimize the, um, the randomization so let's just uh, inject in the last uh, entry and now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to load the host after injecting the, the cell code together with the polymorphic code that the cell generated and I'm going to go to this address here So we see from here um, the polymorphic code starts. We see it's quite randomized. We see also uh, it is able to recognize uh, data sections and uh, generate instructions that write to random places. Also call instructions that just uh, call locations that uh, in addition to a register is going to happen and then just return. We see another call here. Just uh, random stuff. We see a loop. Another call here. So as you can see, the code is quite randomized. All this is just a code generated by Shelter. And uh, basically, here it is where um, uh, the cell code uh, really starts. All the code, the previous code, is just polymorphic code generated by by Shelter. Okay. So, in this case, if I just uh, execute, you're going to notice that uh, it's going to take uh, some more time for the payload uh, to be executed. This is be because of uh, uh, the fact that the polymorphic code also includes uh, junk loops that uh, have as a purpose to 
uh, exhaust emulation engines and uh, tricks and boxes that uh, might just uh, monitor the execution for only a couple of seconds or three seconds just to see if anything happens and then just uh, give up so you see that the cell code uh, was finally uh, executed and payload and the calculator was um, was launched. All right, uh, thank you very much for watching.